welcome back to the Math Goose, where in Math 7 we've been talking about statistics. Specifically in this video, we're going to be talking about histograms. Okay, so we have um, an example of a histogram here. So the frequency table shows certain water park admission costs display the data in a histogram. So we have um, between eight and fifteen dollars is five, and then so on. So we have um, eight to fifteen. So we have eight data points, eight data points, eight data points. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, so we have eight data points represented in this, in each of these um, pieces of data. Okay, so draw and label the horizontal vertices axes as shown, include the titles. So we have our cost, because our cost is our x value, and our frequency is our y value, so number of parks. Okay, so frequency. Okay, show the interval from the frequency table on the horizontal axis and interval of one on the vertical axis. So our horizontal here, vertical here, so we have 5, 7, 4, 0, and 2. Okay, for each cost interval, draw a bar whose height is given by the frequency. So our frequency is given by how many we have. Okay, now it's time to do one on our own. Okay, the table shows the number of people in different age groups entering a store during the first hour. Display the data in a histogram. So we need to draw a histogram here. We're going to have age down here. And then we're going to have 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, and then 60 to 69. Okay, and that gives us all, all the way to where we need to be. And then we're going to go up here. Our highest one is 20, so I'm going to go 5. 10, 15, and 20. Okay, so I have 5. I have 8. I have 14. Eighteen. Twenty, all the way up here. My bars are starting to look like different sizes because I'm not using graph paper or a straight edge. So if you want your histograms to look all purdy, then you need to use a straight edge or a ruler or graph paper. Okay, so I have a histogram here. Okay, it's not very pretty, it's not, but it works. Okay, so five, eight. 14, 18, 20, 13, and 6. So we're going to find that our median and our mean are somewhere in here. It's a pretty even distribution. Okay, so our mean and median are going to be in these two categories. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our last example. Okay, so use the history down below to answer the question. So we have Olympic swimming... SWAT. Um, okay, so we have um, Olympic wins, women's swimming, 1924 to 2004. Okay, so which event has more winning times less than a minute? So we're looking at um, less than a minute. So a minute is 60 seconds, so this is in time. So we have none in the 100-meter backstroke. We have zero in the less than a minute. 
Whereas here we have um, all of these, these two bars in less than a minute. So this would be um, 100 meter freestyle. Okay, that's usually the front stroke. Freestyle is the front stroke. Um, that's one of the quicker, quicker swims. Okay, let me use the histogram above to find the number of Olympic Games that were held from 1924 to 19 or 2004. Okay, so um, we have. So each one of these represents the Olympic Games. So we have 8, 4, 3, 2, and 2. So 8, 4, 3, 2, and 2. Okay, so we have 4, 7, 11, 19. This should also be 19, so that's 2, 7, 4, 4, 2. So 2, 6, 10, 17, 19. Okay, so we have 19 Olympic Games. Okay, so we can use histograms to, um, we can use a histogram to answer questions. So we were able to figure out that this is, this is the quicker race. We have more times under a minute. And then we're able to figure out by just counting our totals of, you know, the winners' times and found out there was a 19 Olympic Games. If you have any questions about histograms, go ahead, don't, go ahead and ask me um, or, draw, or send me an email.